So what does the future hold for Ken Paxton? A lot of questions swirling tonight as this begins to play out for him and the state. The XAN's Lindsey Branson has sat down with a local attorney who talks about what we can expect after tomorrow. It's a first degree felony. The, the only thing more serious in the state of Texas is the capital offense. With more than 20 years of law experience in Austin, criminal defense attorney Kelly Bailey is shocked by the allegations. It just looks bad that the top law enforcement official in this great state, the top attorney in this great state, is being accused of the most basic kind of fraud and deceptive act especially with regard to his own clients. I asked her about his status as a practicing attorney. According to the Secretary of State's website, a law license is not needed to be attorney general. She wonders what happens if he loses his law license. We need to hold our lawyers accountable. We, we come to you with the expectation that you're going to take care of us. And when you don't, you need to be held accountable. Sources say Paxton faces two charges of first degree securities fraud and one count of third degree failure to register. He could be facing felony charges and if the first degree counts, if he's found guilty of them, looks like any sentence he would get would run at the same time, but he's looking at anywhere from five years up to life. This will mark the first time in 32 years a Texas attorney general will be indicted. After a five-week trial, Jim Maddox was cleared by a jury of commercial bribery charges in 1985. We reached out to both the AG's office and Governor Abbott's office this weekend. Both declined to comment. Of course, this is a story we will be following through the night and early morning hours, so make sure to tune into KXAN News today for the latest information beginning at 4.30 tomorrow morning. Lindsay Bramson, KXAN News.